6.4 goes over complex fractions. When you're working with complex fractions, you have a fraction within a fraction. So when you're doing this, you have to keep in mind that fractions represent division. So all you have to do is rewrite this or all of these problems as division problems and then simplify them. If we look at example one, it just tells us to simplify one half plus one third all over one fourth plus one fifth. The, again, the easiest way to do this, think of it as a division problem, rewrite it as a division problem. So this is the same exact thing as saying parentheses 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, close parentheses, divided by parentheses 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. So simplify what's in those, those parentheses first and then divide the two. Remember when you're dividing fractions, keep, change, flip. So with the first set of parentheses, you have one half plus one third. Your least common denominator here is six. So this is going to be three over six plus two over six. For this second fraction, your least common denominator between the four and the five is 20. So we multiply the first fraction top and bottom by five second fraction top and bottom by 4. So this is going to turn into 5 over 20 plus 4 over 20. Simplifying these inside the parentheses, the 3 6 plus 2 6 is 5 6. In the second set of parentheses, the 5 over 20 plus 4 over 20 gives us 9 over 20. So now that we just have our division problem, keep, change, flip, you're going to have 5 over 6 times 20 over 9. You can simplify before you multiply here. The 6 and the 20 are both divisible by 2. So the 6 becomes a 3 and the 20 becomes 10. So if we then multiply straight across. 5 times 10 gives us 50. Over 3 times 9 is 27. For our next example, we are given 3 minus 2 over x all over 1 over x squared minus 1 over 4. So again, don't think of this as just two fractions over two fractions. Think of it as division. So this is going to be 3 or 3 over 1 minus 2 over x divided by 1 over x squared minus 1 over 4. From here, find your least common denominator from both of these sets of parentheses. From the first, your least common denominator is x. So this first fraction within this first set of parentheses is going to be multiplied by x top and bottom. This gives us 3x over x minus 2 over x. For the second set of parentheses, your least common denominator is 4x squared. So the first set of parentheses gets multiplied by 4. Second, or sorry, the first fraction within the second set of parentheses gets multiplied by 4, top and bottom. Second gets multiplied by the x squared. So this is going to give us 4 over 4x squared minus x squared over 4x squared. From here, we are going to have 3x minus 2 over x divided by 4 minus x squared over 4x squared. You cannot do anything with this to simplify, so keep, change, flip. We're going to have 3 over x, or sorry, 3x minus 2 over x times 4x squared over 4 minus x squared. That x cancels out one of the x's with the 4x squared. And now you can just multiply straight across. So we're going to have 4 times 3x minus 2 all over 1 times 4 minus x squared. From here, 
you can leave it like this or you can distribute it in that four. It's totally up to you. If it was me, I would distribute it in that four and I would just be left with 12x minus eight all over four minus x squared. If you wanted to also factor the denominator, you can. It would just be two minus x times two plus x because it's a difference of squares. However, you couldn't simplify that any further either so you couldn't cancel out, so you would just leave it as either one of these. So this, you could give me as an answer, or this. They're the same exact thing. In example three, we are given x minus two over x squared minus nine, all over x over x squared minus six x plus nine, plus four over x minus three. So again, I'm going to rewrite this using division. So that way it makes a little bit more sense. So this is gonna give us x plus two over x squared minus nine divided by x over x squared minus six x minus nine plus four over x minus three. So from here, that x squared, or sorry, that x plus two over x squared minus nine, I'm just going to rewrite it with the denominator factored. So this is going to give me x plus two over x minus three times x plus three. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second set of parentheses. I'm just gonna rewrite it with this first denominator factored. So this is gonna give us x over, it's a perfect square trinomial, so x minus three times x minus three. Within these two fractions in that second set of brackets, your least common denominator is x minus three times x minus three. So that second fraction within those second set of brackets, you're gonna to have to multiply the top and the bottom by that x minus three. So this is going to give us x over x minus three times x plus, or sorry, x minus three again. And then you're also gonna have that plus four times x minus three. From here, we're just going to distribute the 4 into the x minus 3 in the top of the second set of brackets. So we're going to have x plus 4x minus 12 all over x minus 3 times x plus 3. Oops, this is plus. From there, we're just going to combine like terms. So we have 5x minus 12 over x minus three times x plus three for that second set of brackets. And I'm just gonna bring this one down since nothing's changing with it. So x plus two over x minus three times x plus three. From here, we are going to keep change flip and multiply. So we're gonna have x plus two over x minus three times x plus three times x minus three times x minus three. This is, should be a negative. This should be a negative. Where, there we go. This should be a negative. This should be a negative. There we go. All right, so this is over five x minus 12. Cancel out what you can. You can cancel out that x minus three diagonally, and then you're just gonna multiply straight across. So you have x plus two times x minus three all over x plus three times five x minus 12. The next part of your lesson goes over these fractions that include negative exponents. You have to make sure 
that your exponents are positive in order for you to work with these. So you have to remember the term that that negative exponent is attached to, take the reciprocal of it and then work from it from there. So if we look at example four, we're given three a to the negative first power minus two to the negative first power all over one minus b to the negative first power. If you would like to just rewrite this as a division problem first, you can. You would have three a to the negative first minus two to the negative first divided by one minus b to the negative first. So the next thing that we can do is to turn these negative exponents to be positive ones. Remember, the term and only the term that exponent, that negative exponent is attached to, take the reciprocal of it, it will turn that, po that power into a positive power. So that 3a to the negative first power is going to become 3 over a to the first power, which is just a. Then you have that 2 to the negative first power, put your minus sign there, it's going to become 1 over 2. We put parentheses around that and then work with the next set of parentheses. The next one, we have 1 minus b to the negative first power. That 1, we can write down as 1 over 1. And b to the negative first is 1 over b. So from here, you have exactly what we were doing in the sections before this, where you have an expression that involves fractions divided by another expression that involves fractions. So find your least common denominator within each set of parentheses. From the first set of parentheses, your least common denominator is a squared, or a times two, I'm sorry, so that's two a. The second set of parentheses, your least common denominator is b. So your first set of parentheses, first fraction, you'll multiply top and bottom by two. Second fraction, you'll multiply top and bottom by a. This is gonna give us six minus a all over 2a. Your second fraction, or your, sorry, your second set of parentheses, first fraction, multiply the top and the bottom by b. So this is going to give us b minus 1 all over b. From here, keep, change, flip, and simplify. So first fraction, you have 6 minus a all over 2a times b all over b minus 1. From here, you can multiply straight across. You do not need to distribute in. So this is just going to be b times 6 minus a all over 2a times b minus 1. For example 5, we are given a to the negative first power plus b to the negative second power all over a b to the negative second power plus b a to the negative third power. So I'm just going to rewrite this as a division problem first. So it's going to give us a to the negative first plus b to the negative second divided by a to the negative second plus b times a to the negative third. So I'm going to rewrite this as a I'm sorry, this is a b, a b to the negative second plus, I'm going to switch this to where it's going to be a cubed or a to the negative third b. That way it's just a then b. From here, I'm going to take the reciprocal of these terms to give me my positive powers. So this is going to give us 1 over a plus 1 over b squared divided by a over b squared plus b over a cubed. Find your least common denominator between each set of parentheses. From the first, our least common denominator is a b squared. So that first fraction we multiply by b squared top and bottom. The second fraction we would multiply by a top and bottom. So this is going to give us b squared plus a all over ab squared. From here, your least common denominator from that second fraction is a cubed b squared. So the first fraction we multiply by a cubed top and bottom. Second, we're going to multiply by b squared top and bottom. 
So this leaves us with a to the fourth power plus b to the third power all over a cubed b squared. From here, if you can factor, factor. You can't, so I'm going to just keep change flip from here. So the first fraction, we're going to keep it as b squared plus a over a b squared. Change to multiplication. Flip the second fraction. We have a cubed b squared over a to the fourth power plus b cubed. From here, we are going to multiply straight across. If we cannot simplify, we can cross simplify. You have an a and that a cubed, which becomes a squared. Then you have b squared and b squared that are diagonal, so those would cancel out. So it's just b squared plus a times a squared all over 1 times a to the fourth power plus b cubed. And again, you can keep this in factored form. You do not need to multiply it out. For our last example, we have p plus q to the negative first power times q, or sorry, p plus p to the negative first power times q to the negative second power. So again, we're just going to rewrite this with positive powers. So this is going to be p or p over 1 plus 1 over p q squared. Your least common denominator between these two are just p q squared. So we'll multiply the top and the bottom of that first fraction here by p q squared. So this is going to give us p squared q squared plus 1 all over p q squared. And again, you cannot factor this so it would just stay like you see it.